Well, hello. I'm wearing a fake shirt. No. Okay, the shirt's real, but part of it's fake. I've got this lovely pocket here I can't seem to unbutton, and then when I reach my finger in, I find out why. There's no pocket there. Looks like there's a pocket. Looks like something, but there's nothing there. Well, that brings me to my first impression of this pen. So this is a Delta Dolce Vita Masterpiece. It is a pen I have wanted, but uh, Delta went out of business. So, uh, huh. Uh, but here it is. So let's take a look at it, and I'll tell you why, even though this is a first impression, why I immediately thought of this shirt. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't even think of this shirt till I'm sitting down here wearing the shirt, looking at this and saying, I know I'm going to start the video. So let's take a look at it. So this is, comes in a very nice box. This is, I believe, new old stock. Uh, I got it at a kind of nice price. You might see where the shirt's coming in there if you know Delta. If you don't, don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> so this is just a cardboard sleeve that slides off. You're left with a fabric covered cardboard box, very plain. I was honestly kind of hoping I'd get something fancy, but I didn't. Inside, the ink I'm going to fill the pen with. So we'll set it over here so I don't forget about it. And another box and some literature. Now, uh, I really haven't looked through the literature yet because I was trying to make it a first impression. But if you're wondering about the shirt, here's another clue why I thought it, it was so cool that I happened to wear this shirt. And I'm serious about that. It was a happen. Uh, some information on, oh, apparently how to fill it. Uh... What is this? I said I haven't been through. Oh, literature about the pen. So, uh, stuff. Oh, the Craftsman of Delta offers this new collection to its usual audience consisting of selected experts, pen lovers, and fine writing instruments connoisseurs. Delta, a 100% Italian company founded in 198. I doubt it's that old. I'm thinking... That's a 1968, 78, 88, 98, I don't know. 80 something, who knows. Has gained unlimited recognition by its original and exclusive co collection, Dolce Vita. Unmistakable due to its orange and black color combination, acknowledged worldwide by his hallmark. So, yeah, yada yada. 1982, there we go, in Italian. Fire. And another book about something. Whoops. And I ripped it. <laughs> Doggone, it's... Okay. Glued down. That's awkward. So I've ripped the back of this, so there goes the collector's value. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of about the collection, I guess. Like I said, I haven't really looked through this, or I would have known about the rips. Um... So put it back in order. I'll read the literature later. Actually, I might save this fusion book uh, because I may decide to make fun of it either now or probably when I do the review. All right, so I've held off on you enough. I had to do that. So here's the box. Nice uh, fabric-covered box, like a soft, velvety type of fabric. Who knows what it really is. I've complained before about excessive packaging. Again, no exception. Uh, I've been told, you know, fountain pens are hardly the biggest thing filling up the landfill. I know! But, uh, why? Deliver it in a cardboard sleeve. That's me. And I know, first impressions. So, we ready for a first impression? Wacha! Oh, it's covered with something. And, uh, Delta Dolce Vita collection. And then uh, in this box that won't even open the whole way, which is annoying, we have the pen. So, we need a glamour shot of this pen, and I've been trying to do them in the packaging, but honest to God, I can't do it this time. So, we'll be doing this photo. I'm going to have to add a photograph later to be my cover. And there's a garantia, which I'm guessing means guarantee. Um, and sadly, 
it's worth the paper it's printed on because Delta doesn't exist. They're gone. Story for another time. So the pen itself is rather attractive. I like this finish a lot. Uh, when it first came out, that was really what attracted me to it, is this beautiful finish. Uh, it's got some doodads and doohickeys. And you've got this thingy. Yes, it's a cartridge converter pen. And that's an extra way to access the converter. That's something I knew without even looking. Uh, some writing on it. Mid-size. 1160 Italy. wonder if it's a limited edition or something. Honestly, don't know. And then up here, Delta Dolce Vita Masterpiece. So I appreciate that they don't need to splash their name all over the pen. I'll unscrew the cap. I know, this is nonsense. This is their infamous Fusion Nib. Uh, I don't know, maybe the sign of a company in its last gasp. Nevertheless, I've heard good things about the nib. That It was apparently a very high quality steel nib, even though the stupid piece of gold glued on. You know, Delta makes all kinds of claims, which I'll evaluate when I finally review the video. Um, I mean, sorry, when I finally review the pen. But... Uh, from what I'm told, it is a good steel nib, no matter the utter meaningless of this gold decoration glued on. Uh, Delta claims that it improves flow, but can't seem to explain how. Uh, I appreciate that the feed seems to be a little bit higher quality. I don't know if it's ebonite or what it is, or if it's just another plastic feed, but just a very well-made, you know, different than their, the one that's in their Serena. Of course, oops, unscrewing the wrong part. It does unscrew as a more traditional cartridge converter pen. Very smooth acting piston with the metal turning knob you saw earlier. And, oh, can't pull it out. Well, I noticed the thread, so I wasn't trying real hard. Yeah. The converter is screwed in place. So all in all, very attractive pen. The Fusion thing is just dumb. D-U-M dumb. But uh, it's cool. Um, I wanted one and I found this one. Now that Delta no longer exists, uh, I, from what I can see, this is not a brand that's going up in value now that they're gone. Uh, some of the Omos celluloids have gone up in value, but not this. So I got this one actually priced right around a special edition uh, Platinum 3776 and uh, and I've been curious to see how it writes. So I've held off on it till I could film this video so you're about to bear witness to it. So I'm going to use Delta ink to for first time. I, you know it may not be my choice for fu for future writing. but hey it's here. Well, that was annoying. One fill gives me Zilcho. It's bubbling. Okay, and it may have been sitting too long. So like I said, I think it's new old stock. Second twist gives me a decent amount. Let's see, just see what I can get with a third twist. Yeehaw. Okay, by the third time, pretty respectable. So let's wipe this puppy off. Now, I don't know what I'm about to get. Like I said, I've this nib was very polarizing when it came out. I really wanted a Delta Fusion 82, or was it 92 at the time, but avoided the temptation and haven't really regretted it. And haven't thought about Delta much ever since until I saw this. I'm like, oh... By the way, there is a finial, which is the Delta logo. Try that. Yeah, kind of neat. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen. Let's, let's get real here. 
So, write it in this journal here. So this is a Delta, oh, how's the name go? I gotta look at the cap again. Delta Dolce Vita Masterpiece. Why do I do a cheesy Italian accent every time I review a, say something about an Italian pen? Does not start writing the very first time I set nib to paper. Oh my God, I'm about to get mad. And I know, be patient. But I'm looking at the tines. I don't know if this will show up here at all. Quite a lot of space between them. I don't know if that's a bad sign or not, but I did see it fill in as I held it there. Sometimes that's just a thing with uh, pens is, you know, you fill them up and they don't write right away, but then they're fine. So let me try that again. There we go. Now we're cooking with onions. Delta Dolce Vita. Well, and I misspelled it. A lot of feedback there. Wow, my handwriting's messy. All right, let's zoom in so we can look at the tests a little more clearly. Uh, sorry about the handwriting. I don't know what's up with me right now. <laughs> so the ink is Delta, Delta Down. What's that flower you have on? Oh, and I'm starting to write Delta Dawn. I'm not even tired. I don't get it. What is wrong with me tonight? Delta Black. Actually, I'm going to leave the zoom inch there. So I think you can hear the noise. I don't feel a lot of feedback, but I hear a lot, if that means anything. Uh, flex. Some steel nibs have flex, this one doesn't. A bit of line variation, not amazing, but it's there. Wetness and flow. Yeah, let's keep it up. Smear test. I know the reports I heard of the Fusion at the time were that it was a wet pen, and it seems to be reasonably so. Um, I think the argument could be made that this is a broad rather than a medium, but uh, as I understand it, these nibs do tend to run wide. Um, the reverse writing. Will that interfere with the mystical properties of this gold thingy glued to the nib? We shall see. Actually, very smooth. Um, more like a fine or almost an extra fine. And now what I call the Pierre Gustafson test. Where I just do some scribbling, mainly to see how does the pen keep up. I have some very nice pens in my collection right now that could not do this. But it does! Whatever that means to you. I mean, I don't write like that, but it does give you an indication of the flow of the pen. So that is the Delta, Delta Dolce Vita Masterpiece. Uh, what I think, way overdone packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Very good writer. The Fusion Nib thing is a gimmick. Uh, I'm, I'm certain when I read their literature, I'm not going to find my mind changed because at the time it came out, I did really research this Fusion Nib because I kept trying to make sense of it. And my, my physics background, I was just like, I couldn't leave it alone. I was like a, with a dog with its bones stuck in its teeth. That didn't make sense. I was like a dog with a bone stuck in its teeth. Um, I just couldn't stop. I had to know. But... Uh, Nice writer, attractive pen, and um, I, I'm not sorry I bought it. I, I'm liking how it writes. Now we'll see as I use it, because this is one of the limitations of a first impressions video. It took a while to saturate the, the nib so it would start writing. Is that a normal thing? Uh, every time I pick it up to write, will it be like, 
oh, let me think about that for a while, or will it start writing? I don't know. Um, so when I eventually finally do the video where I review it, we'll hopefully answer that question. But on the whole, I am favorably impressed. Cartridge converter pen doesn't bother me. The weird little blind cap to access the converter, I don't know why, because why not just unscrew the barrel and see the ink level? Because uh, I would have been pretty disappointed if I would have filled it from the top without you know, looking at the cartridge, because I wouldn't have known how not filled it was. Um, but anyway, I hope that was interesting, hope it was useful. And if you find videos like this useful, please feel free to comment below. You know, do you have experience with the Fusion Nib or the Delta Dolce Vita or uh, Delta in general? I'd love to hear some feedback. And if you have suggestions to improve this series, I'm still finding my way, so I would welcome any suggestions you have. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.